with the fifth episode of Tales from the Loop. We have the episode titled Control, and it's very aptly named, as it uh, deals with a man coming to terms with the reality that he's lost control, and in the end has to come to terms with the fact that he never really had it to begin with. Uh, this is actually a, a show that uh, very clearly shows the consequences uh, even more so of a previous episode, that being transposed. So, here we have uh, a guy with a job, and uh, he's the father of uh, one of the boys <laughs> who got the raw end of the deal there at the end of tra Transpose, and so the family is uh, devastated by this, and uh, they, uh, they have a little daughter, uh, she's deaf, and uh, as he's going for, they have money problems and all these sorts of things, all these sort of things uh, compounding onto this man of his lack of control. First of all, he couldn't save his son for whatever happened to him. He doesn't know what happened to him. <laughs> and uh, as in the way I'm doing uh, these, I guess, reviews <laughs> of, of the series is that I don't talk about exactly what happened. Because I think it's an. I, I really enjoy this series, and I think it's best to view it in that way. I mean, the, even if I did give the plot point by point, I think uh, the presentation and performances are well enough, but that's just the way I'm going to do it. And in this case, I'm sort of, like I said, aptly named, it, it, that's the core of it, of what this man's going through, uh, with, of course, the sci fi background of the loop, with uh, robotics and whatnot. And uh, without any real explanation, what time period does this take place in? <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> I mean, who knows? Uh, an alternate Earth or another uh, you know, planet? <laughs> it could be. We don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, but this is one that I, more than the others, I think. Uh, I mean, of course, you meet characters briefly in some episodes, and then they have a main uh, you know, story in another, and that's how it works out with uh, the, the characters of the series. Uh, but uh, what happens in each one uh, more or less bears on the others, but this none more so as this one is what happened to the boys in Transpose and uh, uh, the results of this. And of course, uh, some of the elements of there, the fears about uh, protecting his daughter and everything, and you immediately, you, you already know what's going on and, and what the misunderstanding is. Here and and all of that, but uh, still, uh, it's you know it, it it plays out in that manner. So it's it, you got you know those elements of connectivity between the, the the continuity of the story set up between between one another, but uh, it, it still it it, it exp ex, you know explores the the, the uh, uh, failings of this guy and uh, how it's tormenting him. And ultimately, all he had to do was kind of get his act together, but he's, you know, he's devastated. You know, his son, and you see him break down over this and everything, and then the, the terror that he could also lose his daughter. He, and quite frankly, uh, he's pretty much lost his wife already. She's still there, they're together, but uh, boy, oh boy, <laughs> that relationship is pretty much in a shambles in a lot of ways even at the end where he you know he, he gets his act together uh, due to the circumstances he's in which is still pretty bad uh through no fault of his own but uh but you know he's manning up and dealing with it which is what he needs to do and uh, you know i mean maybe the wife's coming i mean she still has that sort of sad uh, face and i mean considering where they are it's understandable but uh, maybe that's just her relief that oh he's finally you know, stepping up to this and what we need him to do and all that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, there's certain elements there. Uh, his boss is younger than him and that kind of thing. <laughs> He's not going to get much further in life. This is where you are, pal. And, hey, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> and stuff like that. But certainly the display of his frustrations and the idea that it's just this very average guy, you know, and it's just well done in that. And a lot of people can relate to that that scenario that he's in even with all the you know the, the actual the, the sci-fi stuff kind of doesn't really matter uh because the real story is this this poor guy who ultimately overcomes the problems with that's it's him rather than the the circumstances that aren't 
uh, really, his, it's not his fault, you know, and especially what happened with his son, you know, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And then uh, the uh, pitfalls and possible dangers that came with him not uh, accepting circumstances and, of course, you know, manning up and all that. Uh, is very on display in uh, one of the scenes there towards the end. And, uh, you know, he comes to terms with it, and uh, he, he grows and uh, is a better person for it, but still, it's all very sad, of course, the circumstances and whatnot. And I, I don't know how, what the resolution would be. I mean, it's continuing of the transposed story to a certain extent, uh, but at the same time, it's like, well, oh, man, I wish he could find out, and there's a way to... Uh, to restore everything and fix it, and and I'll, and I kind of like I, <laughs> I, I, you know, I I don't know if that would work with the the tone and themes that they've already established, and of course consequences are consequences, and you, that's kind of the point of this story that he has to just accept it and 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 live, and um, you know, be a husband and uh father to his daughter so and like i say the marriage is like pretty i was kind of irritated with her because she was irresponsible at one point and then he was and then she just has no understanding and forgiveness for the poor bastard you know <laughs> so I, you know, I, I was a bit irritated with her but there is a scene where they're coming together and there it's a scene where the daughter witnesses them and she's happy about it she sees that they're together and they're you know sharing and dealing with their their remorse over their son uh, don't want to give too away about that <laughs> it sounds like i did but i kind of didn't <laughs> but so you know okay there maybe there's hope for the for the marriage i you know but i mean they'll stay together for the girl um but maybe maybe the marriage is still there too so um so anyway, that's all the, uh, the it's rather, it's, it's, well, it's kind of boring and simple, isn't it? But uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's powerfully uh, performed. And of course, within this, you know, fantastical realm of the science fiction elements with, uh, in this case, robotics is what they uh, deal with in there and stuff like that. So uh, I, boy, I tell you, I'm not disappointed by this series. Some of the episodes I thought were weaker than previous ones and that sort of thing. But, uh, but then, uh, you know, but uh, none of them have disappointed me and I d didn't feel like, well, pff, I wasted time on that one. But, uh, no, no, this is a good series and there's only three more left of, uh, this season. And I know nothing of any, I've heard no one else talk about it other than, uh, Doomcock <laughs> who introduced me to this. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I don't know. Does anybody in the comments know if there's going to be another season of this or not? I don't know. But anyway, uh, great show. If you uh, if you stumbled upon this video, I do highly recommend it. It's uh, on Amazon Prime. And uh, do check out Tales from the Loop. All right. Thank you for watching and listening. So why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com. <laughs>